During this Connected Investor Success Short, you'll hear three real estate investing pros explain exactly how to implement the strategies that made them millionaires. Brought to you by privatelenders.com, where real estate investors go to get private funding for all of their real estate investments. Make sure to check out the links in the description of this video for full lessons and free giveaways. Let's get started. His name is Greg Rand, and today he's going to explain exactly how to pick winning real estate markets. The first three steps. All right, first two steps. First of all, planning, understanding yourself, okay, and, and what you care about. Number two is identifying the where. Okay, focusing on those shaped, shifting plates of earth in the market. And then once you identify the market, you like going deep and finding the assets that fit your, uh, your personal uh, style. So do you have any recommendations of top cities that you're seeing people have success in or, th or cities you might think uh, are going to be very fruitful in the not so distant future? Yeah, I do actually. Um, I've been asked recently um, in the last year, to identify what are the next big SFR cities, single family rental cities. And, you know, we know the ones that were the part of the big first wave. And it was very interesting to approach that because we started noticing similarities, qualitative similarities of the trends in a city and then quantitative similarities with the way those cities were 15 years ago. So like, what's the next Dallas? My answer to that is Oklahoma City. Okay, a lot of the market fundamentals, Oklahoma City looks a lot like and behaves a lot like Dallas 20, 25 years ago. Okay, same economic drivers, same industries, and now it's starting to look real attractive. A lot of people that can't afford Dallas are going to Oak City. Same thing, what's the next uh, Nashville? Chattanooga is the next Nashville. What's the next Denver? Colorado Springs, right? What's the next Charlotte or Atlanta? Maybe Columbia, right? So within striking distance, same migration fundamentals, and just reason, it's, like, it's like the next generation of the same city. You know, yeah. the grandchild of the same city. What is and you start to you start to get a comfort level that, hey, this does look familiar. I'm in a time warp right now. I can see where I think the city's gonna go, and you can load up on that city. Well, this this whole theme is tying right back into daydreaming. I love it. Man. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. And you guys get to daydream on what you want to do with all of that residual money that's gonna come in once you have True. these properties out there and you're able to uh, you know, transfer these assets to your, to your children and make their lives better. That's why it's, it's so important that you're, uh, you know, attending these, these podcasts to learn these, these little tips and tricks that, that echo for generations. You know, if you take action today, they'll have a, a picture of, you know, great grandfather, great grandma over that, uh, that, you know, changed, changed the whole direction for a family. One family exactly. member gets into real estate, grinds through, it changes it changes your lineage all the way, you know, till, till the end of time until one of your kids screws it up, basically. Exactly. The Connected Investors app connects you with investors, notifies you of available properties, helps locate cash buyers, and secure private funding to close deals. Set up in seconds to become a member of the Connected Investors social network. Now you can scroll through your main feed to find cash buyers, see investment properties not available to the general public, and network with investors by adding your own comments to a thread to keep the conversation going. The control center is your connection to add properties to sell, start new discussions, connect with local investors, and even find private funding. The notifications tab will keep you alerted to new investment properties and offers. You'll also find new friend requests to connect directly with the community to build your network. From the property marketplace, you'll be able to find favorite, and make offers on investment properties. Download Connected Investors today to find, figure, fund, and flip investment properties on the go. His name is Mark Dudley. I'd like to introduce you to him. Mark, thank you so very much for jumping on the line here. Thanks for having me, Ross. It's great to be here. Well, today we're going to show exactly how anyone can use Facebook and Google to attract whatever they want for their business. We're going to talk a lot about real estate investing and motivated sellers because that's really what uh, our members at connectedinvestors.com are looking for. But the tactics and the strategies that we're going to cover on this episode of Exactly How translate to absolutely any business. Mark, take me through just the high level steps of retargeting. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, I'll kind of break it down into to four steps. So. First one, get your website. 
That's what you need. Second one, you need a, you need a, the platform that you're going to throw these ads up on. So that could be Facebook, could be Google. There's a couple other smaller ones out there, but those are the two biggest ones. So if you go to your Facebook account, everyone has an advertising uh, account. You just have to find it there. It's not too hard. So get that set up. That's step two. Uh, step three is to get the pixel set up on your site. Um, and that's pretty easy to do. Um, uh, either I, I can make a video or uh, I'm sure Ross has one that we can find. Uh, watch a video. Get, this, get your pixel up there on your site. Uh, and then third or the fourth step is to uh, you need to create the ads. So you're going to create some sort of ad that you want people to see. And that's the four basic steps. That's it. Um, any, any other, anything else you want to add? I know you can go on for hours and hours. So sometimes we sit down and do go on for hours or hours, but just any more, you know, nuggets of information someone might want to consider. Yeah, I do want to say this. So when you get your ad going, get it all set up, um, make sure you set your audience. You want to make sure that you are targeting the audience you want to set, whether it be the list that you upload or the people you've pixeled on your site. Um, a common mistake that I have seen is people will set their ads. They don't put uh, an audience in there and then they're just showing their ads to all of Facebook, you know, all of, all of Google. So, so that, that's going to be a, a bit of a waste of your money. So make sure you set the audience you want to set it to. You contributed a lot of your success in paid ads to your, you know, natural curiosity. Why do you think it's so important to be, uh, why do you think curiosity is so important to success? You should always be learning. There's, there's so much out there to learn. Uh, you know, if you're sitting in front of your TV watching Netflix or something like that, uh, whenever I'm doing that, I feel like I'm wasting my time and I could be out there learning something. Uh, learn about anything and everything. That's the best way to live life. You can, uh, you know, I've learned about man, fixing up my house or flying a hot air balloon, whatever. <laughs> Learn about anything and everything. That's the best way to live life. Today, he's going to explain exactly how to quit your job. Ed, thank you so very much for taking the time to speak with us. Hey, it's my pleasure. Yeah, this is, this is, this is a really exciting topic for a lot of people because there's so many individuals that are just uh, you know, looking for that, that critical piece of information. So before we, uh, before we started... Uh, the show here, we talked about the three steps and that was first understanding what that number is, right? The second one was understanding the kind of income you need. The third was taking action. It was education. And then of course, taking action. So Ed, let's go ahead and start at the top. How do we figure out what the number is? How much we need to be able to successfully say bye-bye to our boss and get into real estate full-time? Okay, I've got to kind of relate it a little bit to my own situation and okay. how, how I did it. it. It's not how much money you make, but it's how much you really need. And I find that most people have no idea where their money goes. They might know what their mortgage expense is or their rent, but that's about as far as they really know where their money goes. So you need to find out exactly what your expenses are per month. And there are needs and then of course there's wants but if we start with the needs figure out what that number is if you could replace that number then you don't have to work anymore now ed you talked about the type of income step being step number two being figuring out what type of income you need can you walk us through the different types of real estate income well you have um like a linear income for example would be exchanging time for money but in essence, flipping houses is a linear income. Residual income could come from obviously rents, but it could come from notes. It could come from royalties, uh, things that provide a certain amount of money every month, regardless if you're working or not. And then the, the last one is leveraging that residual, obviously by having more units, either multifamilies or mobile home parks or anything that gives you more than just one. We talked about what your number is, the kind of income you want, and now the, the education. So someone's like, great, this is, this is what I want to do. It's time to start learning. Right. Well, you know, we, webinars are great, but it's, it's kind of like a big overview. Um, you can get ideas and get some really good points from the webinars, but I like the books or 
something that I can make notes in. So let's say let's say someone's on this podcast and like you know what I'm 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 sick of this. I'm I'm ready to do it. How long realistically, if someone hit the ground running, do you think it would take someone to be able to build up? Let's just call it forty forty thousand dollars in uh, in income a year through through real estate. Starting off brand new, never not having anything except the willingness to work hard. Well, I, I bought 12 condos the first year that I did it. And you know, maybe that's exceptional. I don't know, but I had a pretty strong reason why. <laughs> and I <clears throat> was really determined to make it happen. I, I think you could, I think you can do it in a year or two without um, really being exaggerating. <laughs> And also throw your name into a drawing to win our $3,000 software called PIN that pinpoints all of the best deals in any market and all of the uh, most active buyers and private lenders as well. So it's the one piece of software you need to find any type of deal, whether it's an apartment complex or a single family house. If you're looking for it, it's inside PIN. And we're going to give it to one of our lucky listeners who visit exactlyhow.com. If you're watching this live, go ahead and jump. Go there right now. We haven't picked the name yet. Throw your name into the hat and you might be walking away with this software.